Lizzo may be done making music, y'all. Who knew? I thought she was so confident. Shout out to Julius the Cisa in the house. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Are you kidding me? I thought she was just all together. It don't matter. We all love everyone. We all love everyone. It doesn't matter. I, I'm proud of my body, everything, this, that, and the third. You can say what you want. I do not care. Say what you want. I do not care. Yo, this is... Shout out to Wash, Rinse, Repeat, because if this ain't Wash, Rinse, Repeat with Lizzo, then I don't know what it is. I do not care. Then she be crying. I do not care. Then she be mad. I do not care. Half naked all over the place. You all need help. You all need help. You all need help. Now she crying again, child. Let's see what this mess says. I don't know who the cut is, but this is as a June. Of look at, look, child. Y'all already know what I'm about to do, right? Get so. Yeah, girl. Go, girl. I love that outfit. Not. So, some people just can't seem to stop over obsessing over Lizzo's body. On Wednesday, the singer addressed criticisms and online bullying about her weight, which is often masked as concern for her health in a string of non-protected, I'm sorry, now protected tweets. After YouTuber Leah Halpern, oh, they out now YouTubers like that. Um, tweeted a video of Lizzo's tribute to Tina Turner, musing about Lizzo's weight and diet and adding a laughing emoji. <laughs> Child. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Lizzo wrote, I just logged on in the app, and this is the type of ish I see about me. Girl, stay off the internet. Girl, stay off the internet. I mean, what you want? What you want? You know that's what it's going to be. Girl, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed since you were showing your flat, black, big ass on the daggone basketball court trying to attract Michael Towns, okay? We do not forget, and neither does any damn body else. We see you, girl. We see you. Just hang out with the people that like you, child. Just hang out with the people that like you. Just take some advice from Messi, all right? So uh, Lizzo said that even though she never searches for her own name and just wants to spend her time online watching dance videos and science news, Girl, shut the hell up. I just want to be online. I just want to watch science news. I'm the smartest ever. I just want to watch some science. Who watches science news except for Ross Geller? Shout out to friends. Stop it. I just want to watch people online dancing. Girl, take your ass to TikTok. That's all the F. Well, no, that's not all they do. But take your ass to TikTok then. You getting on Twitter. What you think you will see on Twitter? Twitter got the worst of the worst. It's just one step above TikTok. She sees the comments about her weight on a daily basis. Stay off the internet. It's really starting to make me hate the world, she continued. I'm tired of explaining myself all the time, and I just want to get on this app without seeing my name in some BS. She also said that all the talk of her weight made her feel like quitting her music career. Child, you're going to have to do what you're going to do. If you're going to quit your music career, your livelihood, what puts food on the table because of what people saying on the daggone internet, child, Dr. Umar, Lizzo needs some reparations. She needs some daggone mental health help, okay? Go ahead and call up the, um, what's her name? Shabri Rawls, the tick thought therapist, and get yourself a session, child. Now, mind you, I think that you'd probably be worse off than when you started, but child, I'm just giving you the reference. Do what you're going to do. Um, in reference to a tweet that suggests that she's intentionally not trying to lose weight because being plus size is part of her brand. Of course, it's part of her brand. That's why she half naked and underwear and thongs all the time. Nobody wants to see that mess, but she got she put that out on the Internet. You put that crap out on the Internet. We got to see that. So now people talking about what you put out on the Internet. And now you mad. Girl, don't put it out on the Internet. Then you're going to sit up here and put this mess out here. And then you're going to be mad at the at the fact that you put that mess out here. Girl, shut up. I'm literally just trying to live and be healthy. Lies. I call cap, girl. Be healthy. Yo, I used to watch Lizzo videos where she would put a big ass cheese steak, with, like pour ketchup on it, gravy and, and mayonnaise and sit there and eat it looking all disgusting. It was disgusting. Okay. So her talking about trying to be healthy. Child, when's the last time you ate an avocado? Child, when's the last time you had some asparagus? Child, when's the last time you had a cheese steak? Let's compare that. Let's compare that one to another, all right? Now, listen, I don't know what she do at the concerts because I don't be paying attention. I don't give a damn, not one damn, okay? 
So is she out there working it out like Beyonce does? I'm not comparing her to Beyonce. I'm just talking about is she out there dancing up a storm like Beyonce does? Because listen, you will lose some weight if you out there giving concerts like that. Trust me, you will. Okay. Um, what else this crazy girl got to say? This is what my body looks like, even when I'm eating super clean and working out. Lies! Stop it! Stop it! She be lying. Somebody lying. She be lying, girl. If you don't go to hell, I can't do it. <laughs> you think we taking this seriously? Girl, you think we taking this seriously? She be eating super clean and working out, girl. If you don't go to hell. Stop it. Get some help. Throughout her career, <laughs> Lizzo has called people out for ignorant and bullying comments about her weight and obsession with thinness, but it sounds like she's had enough. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. The love definitely do not outweigh the hate on social media, all because I'm fat, Lizzo tweeted. This is crazy. And of course, this, this publication says that they agree. Okay. So let me help you. Let me help you out, Liz. Liz, let me help you out. Stay off the internet. All right. If you want to get on the internet, I suggest you just go to your own damn page. All right. You want to see people dancing, uh, get on Netflix and watch Dance Dance Revolution or something. Child. I don't know what it is. Do that. All right. But if you're going to go on Twitter, you're going to see you. I'm I have no doubt. So it's up to you what you're going to do. So if you're going to leave your livelihood at home because of crazy ass people, you definitely need some daggone mental health help. But you're going to do she going to do what she going to do. All right. Good luck to you, child, because I don't see it changing any other time. You also may want let me one more thing before we move forward. You also want to stop showing your half naked ass on the Internet. And there's nothing or let me rephrase. There's less that people have to talk about. We don't want to see your flat ass. We don't see your long tatai. Shout out to Chantel Simone. We don't want to see the fupa. None of that. Cover it up. But you would rather be out here. Y'all remember, child, I just stuff just be coming back to my head. About a year ago, Lizzo was out on a daggone um, ship, shiat chip something. And she was bent over, twerking all that fat, child, twerking all that fat, looking like that Homer Simpson gif, okay? And you think that nobody going to talk about that, child? Child, you think ain't nobody going to talk about that? Girl. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. For real. Okay. Shout out to my girl, Almond Eyes Mastermind Gang, Gang, Gang. Thank you so much for being here in the support. I huh? appreciate you. She says, I'm fat, yet I don't have these problems. I wonder why. I wonder why. Girl, I ain't no thin rail up in here, up in here, but ain't nobody sitting up here giving me a hard time, you know, except for some of these people around here, but I don't care about that. All right. I do not care. Lizzo, if you're going to be an entertainer, you're going to be in front of people, you're going to be... Girl, go talk Kim Kardashian, child. Go go talk to her, see how she got through, okay? If she could get through it, you can get through it. But, of course, she's not going to do that. So, we have no empathy, we have no sympathy, and we're moving on, okay? 